These remote-controlled race cars are not controlled by fingers, but with the mind. We have our champion, user one. Who the winner of this race is Jorge Recinos. Just focus on my car, and it was really amazing. Good luck, guys. Let's have some fun. In a separate race, this person won with his eyes closed. The key is this headband by Brainco. It reads the electrical activity of the user's brain through specially developed sensors using hydrogel material. It's measuring the user's ability to focus with the goal of helping a person learn to better focus or relax, says Brainco's Max Newland. If you're really focused, your brain activity looks a certain way. If you're really calm and relaxed, you can imagine that perhaps your brain activity looks a little different. So we're picking up on these differences and quantifying them on a scale from zero, meaning super relaxed, all the way to 100, which is like the most engaged you've ever been. Electrical signals can also be sensed and interpreted through the muscles with this prosthetic limb. It includes a processor and sensor that allows Min Chung Yi to move these fingers with his mind. I can look at it and every finger starts moving. It's amazing. Hard to imagine. This type of brain-computer interface technology is how humans will be interacting with machines in the future, says Newland. Uh, technology, maybe decades ago, we manipulated it with our hands. Think about a light switch. Uh, then we had the iPhone, it's a touch screen. Right? The, inter the integration between humans and technology is a bit more smooth. Now we're all using voice. What's the temperature? It's 12 degrees Celsius outside. So what's the next step? The next step is going right from my brain, right from my intentions, into the outside world. This prosthetic and a race is a glimpse of what is to come. When you are speeding up this car, you can see your attention level is rising up. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Las Vegas.